When people ask me where Chasti, my wife, comes from, I always respond quite cheekishly that she hails from Winter Wonderland in Norway. And if you ever seen any classical Christmas cards coming from Norway, chances are that you have seen some of the neighboring farms to where she grew up. Famous artists like Kjell Mittun have depicted the romantic winter in Vingland on several occasions. And new TV shows like Home for Christmas, which airs on Netflix right now, are filmed very close by. It is simply filled to the brink of cold beauty. And every year I look forward to celebrating Christmas here. Well, it's Christmas Eve, babe. And even though this year has been a bit different, it was good to see that at least this remained the same. Exactly three years ago on Christmas Eve, I photographed this scene you're seeing right now. I was trying to give a sense of how it felt walking around the mountain village in the moonlight. And this year, as we were driving towards Vinglen, I decided to try to do more of this kind of photography. Inspired by Kjell Mittun, I set out in the moonlight trying to capture the Christmas spirit in Vinglen. The moon was coming and going that night, so most of the time I had to time my captures between clouds and passing cars. And since each photograph took around 15 to 50 seconds to expose, it was quite nerve-wracking knowing that the exposure was about to end and suddenly you heard the rumble of a car approaching in the distance. But in the end, I was very satisfied with what I got. Different from my usual stuff, but sometimes doing something different opens up for new possibilities and new inspiration. Welcome to Winter in Wingeland.
it may not look like it's warm, but in fact, it's just a minus two, three degrees. So it's, it's not that cold at all. So I had to get rid of my jacket, but because wading through the snow in my new snowshoes, look at these, got them for Christmas. I walked up quite a sweat, so I got really, really warm. Welcome to Winter Wonderland. Every year on the, the first day of Christmas, I head out after breakfast to do some photography and this year is no exception. So I took the car and I drove up on the old mountain roads that you've seen plenty of times now if you've paid attention on my channel. We're in Wingelen, close to Röros, where Chasti, my wife's family, is from celebrating Christmas up here. And I haven't walked very far. I normally don't have to walk very far up here before I find something interesting. And this scene right here, you can see the sun peeking through. And a couple of minutes ago, there was this beautiful light here. So I've taken the photograph already. So I had to be quite fast uh, to capture the light. And I took the photograph and afterwards I started speaking, speaking to you. But I'm going to try to talk you through it nonetheless. I had the camera in portrait orientation, tilted a bit down, and I focused on that little tree right there. I used F11 to get most of the scene in focus, and I was around maybe 80 of a second to kind of balance the light the way that it uh, suited the scene best, I think. I think it came out really well, but uh, either way, it's good to have the first picture out of the way because it's like this uh, barrier that gets lifted when you take your first photograph of the day. And after that, it's just all good. At least you have something to come home with. And uh, I like that. Just to find a composition in the beginning and take it and then just relax afterwards. We've already spent a few days up here in this beautiful, beautiful land. And yesterday on Christmas Eve, I got my Christmas present from Mother Nature. We were having cookies and coffee and I got a telephone call from my sister-in-law. She called me and said, you have to look outside because there is these beautiful iridescent clouds up on the sky. And luckily I had my camera with me and I always do when I'm up here. And I rushed out and I grabbed a few photographs of the setting sun combined with iridescent clouds Perlemorschios in Norwegian. These beautiful thin frozen rainbow clouds way, way up in the atmosphere. I love it. I photographed them last year as well and it's, uh, it's getting colder as the sun drops. So I'm gonna try to find high ground and uh, do some uh, late sunset photography out of the uh, frozen landscape. It's gonna be a beautiful evening up here in Winter Wonderland. So I'm glad you tuned into my video or clicked onto my video. Have fun. I'm going to head into the forest and up towards that height. You can't see it. It's behind those trees there and see how far I can get before the sun drops. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
this, this is an interesting scene. I remember last year when I was uh, out walking, I found this little lump of snow that I fell in love with. And you can check out that video right there. But this, <laughs> this, this is many lumps of snow that I've fallen in love with. It looks almost like a moon landscape. Uh, so I set up yet again in portrait mode. And the first thing I thought is that I need to tilt the camera a bit down to get that triangle there. That first triangle. That will lead the eye upwards. And I've extruded this rock right here. It's not in the uh, composition. And I've extruded this. So it's all lumps of snow heading upwards towards the setting sun. And in order to get every nuance in the light, I had to bracket. I'm not sure if I had to bracket, but I, I did it anyway, just to be sure. So I can get that beautiful white snow and the evening yellow orange sky in the background. It looks really, really cool. I love it. Whew, but I, I, I've, been, uh, I've been standing still now for a couple of minutes and uh, as the sun drops, the temperature drops. So I need to get dressed and still a long way to go. I'm not even sure I can make it to the hill I was talking about, but I will try. The sun is sinking rapidly right now. The days are quite short now and uh, I gotta take advantage of the light. So I made up my mind that in order to get the most of the sunset, I need to get back to the car and drive to a higher point because there's no way I'm going to make it out of this forest in this snow and to a good vantage point for the sunset. So I'm going to head back to the car. I've been following this here now for quite some time and right now you can see the tracks are going underneath that branch there. And I thought that was just a lovely little scene. So I went down really low and tried to get every track leading towards that little tree tunnel. And I, I quite like it. I think it's really cute. <laughs> so I'm grabbing this composition as I'm walking back to the car. I've made my way mostly back to the car, but not quite. It's just over that hill right behind me here. But given that the sun is setting right now, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna get to a decent vantage point before the light is completely faded. So I'm just waiting at this spot right here, looking towards those mountains and the uh, lines in the trees going from right to left. And there's another line with the mountain ridge behind it. And there's this beautiful snowy mountain from the right. So it all connects and I, I really like this scene. So I'm waiting here to see how the light reacts to what I'm seeing right now, because there, this is probably my sunset composition. That being said, when I got back to the car, I'm gonna drive around and have a look and maybe stop the car and grab a few photographs because uh, I know for, uh, from experience that the, the sunsets up here lasts a very long time. So I'm gonna give that a go. So I'm using both cameras. Right now I have the, uh, the uh, 70 to 200 lens on the S1, but I've also taken a few 
with the Micro Four Thirds camera GH5 using the 100 to 300 millimeter, which gives me a total of 200 to 600 millimeter on a full frame camera. So I'm, so I'm getting really close to the mountains. And I'm sorry for my bad pronunciation right now because my cheeks are freezing shut. And uh, you can see that I've given up putting the tripod together because it's frozen shut. It's getting really cold. Myself, I'm doing fine. The, uh, the tripod has the worst to it, I think. I can't take it back together. So it's just, it's on full, what do you call it? Keep it, keep it, uh, keep it large <laughs> at all times. Whew. But I'm really happy with how this day has uh, gotten so far. I've been out now for maybe three or four hours walking in the forest and uh, I think I found at least two compositions that I'm really, really happy with. And uh, given that I've already taken many uh, pictures before on this this holiday, like the uh, the moonlight farm pictures, some of them were really nice, I think, and the iridescent clouds Palamuchina from on Christmas Eve, really happy with those as well. So so far, it's been it's been a really, really good photographic holiday. I shouldn't call it a photographic holiday. I should call it a Christmas holiday, but let's be honest, it's a photographic holiday. Don't tell my wife. I think I'm going to head out one more time before we get uh, back to Kalme to film one more episode, but I'm not sure when that will be. Anyway, I'm going to stay here, take a few more photographs. Uh, not sure if I'll log back in to say goodbye to all of you. So I'm going to say that right now. Thank you so much for watching. Ah, a plane, look. Anyway, my uh, my outro is now four minutes long. I've just checked the timer on the camera, so I need to wrap it, wrap it up. That plane is really messing up on my outro. <sighs> Hope you liked the pictures. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, take care of each other. Ha det fint, alle sammen. Nå friser litt, nå skal jeg bare ta så lenge på. Okay, ha det bra. Vi ses.